Hey guys, what is up? So today I wanted to do a really quick video, hopefully, um, just about some of the products I've picked up, um, just to kind of show you what I've shopped for and a couple things I purchased and a couple things are repurchases. So just wanted to mention and a couple things I got on sale. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to start off with some of the products that are more like for your face and body. Um, so the first thing I got oops, was the Love Spell. This is the Luminous Tinted Lotion and then also the Love Spell Luminous Fragrance Mist. These are both from Victoria's Secret. They were in their semi-annual sale so I got them for $5 each. They're both kind of like, this one's kind of like a bronzy shimmery product and this one's kind of just like a scented shimmery product. Um, they both have a little bit of glitter. The reason I picked these up was I thought they would be really nice for doing prom makeup on people and if they have like a strapless dress or they want a little bit of body glitter, um, this would be a nice way to add a little bit of glitter and then a little bit of perfume at the same time. So I thought that would be nice or um, just even using it on myself, I do quite like them. I got a new Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. It's just a generic cleanser. It's for normal to oily skin, and I don't really like the scent that much, but it is a really nice cleanser. It gets all my makeup off, but it doesn't make my face feel really dry. Um, I have another one that I'm almost done with. It's the grapefruit scented one, also Neutrogena, Neutrogena I believe, but um, it's so, so drying, so I went back to this one. Next, I was recently at Ulta, and I saw this Freeman um, facial polishing mask, and this is the charcoal and black sugar one. Haven't tried this yet. Um, I'll let you know how I like it. It's $3.99, so I picked up, and I think I've heard other people talk about this online, and I know a lot of people are doing charcoal -y masks now, so I have another mask from Lush that I really like, so I wanted to get into more masks but without having to pay like $20 for it. So there's that one. They had a ton of different other styles and um, scents and stuff. The one nail product I got was this Orly Nail Polish. This is in, I don't think it has a shade. Oh, Glow Stick. And I just thought it was really cool. I was shopping with my friend. Um, she was trying to find really bright makeup for, um, she was going to Electric Forest in Michigan. And so she was looking for really bright stuff and we came across these and I just think it's really cute. I really don't wear nail polish that much. I never wear nail polish. So it's really nice to have a smaller size and maybe I can actually get through this. Um, and I do want to mention she bought the NYX, I think they're the primal colors, single eyeshadows, and she really liked them. So she got like every color I think and she's tried them out. We tried them out that night. We were playing with makeup, doing um, like electric kind of makeup which I do want to do some s tutorials on soon because that is kind of like um, festival season. So, um, but yeah, but she really liked them. So, next I'm going to go into all the makeup stuff I got. Um, I have a couple lip products, so I'll start with those. Um, a couple trips ago to Ulta, I got a couple of the macaroon lippies. Um, and when I went yesterday, they didn't have any, and these were like the only colors they had. But I figured that would work okay because I got a bluish and a yellow. This is Citron and Earl Grey. And um, if you know in art, if you have red, yellow, and blue, you can make any color. So I figured these would be great for Halloween tutorials. And I obviously have a red lipstick because everyone does. Um, so yeah, and I do like them. The consistency is nice, and I figured it would work really well, better than putting paint on your lips. I also got the Butter Lipstick in... Hubba Bubba. Yeah. And this is just a really pale pink. I'm wearing it today and I just have a little bit of a darker lipstick in the outer corner just to kind of give some shape because it can be a little bit pale, but um, if you're as fair as me, you can pull it off just fine. And it is pretty moisturizing and then also pretty opaque. I know some people said that the lighter shades didn't seem so pigmented, but I think it's pretty pigmented, especially for a real light color because you don't want to really have concealer lips. But if you really like lipsticks like Cream Cup or Angel. This is pretty close. It's a little bit lighter, but this is like along the same lines. It's like a pinky nude, so I would recommend to try it out. Next, I got some lip glosses, again, from Victoria's Secret. These are also from the sale. They were $5. Um, I do work in a Victoria's Secret store, so um, they are deep, deeper discounted now, and I would totally, totally recommend you pick these up. I think they are originally $10, and I would never pay that much for these, but they're, I'm, I was surprised how much I like it. Um, I got it as a free item because I work there, and every once in a while we'll get free stuff so we can try things out and we can recommend them you know, to customers. And I got this color here, and you can see it's like almost gone. I have like that much left. 
Um, and I really, really like it. It's not sticky. It's very moisturizing. It does last a decent amount of time. And it kind of feels like you just put some Vaseline on your lips. It's really nice, really moisturizing. So I got three more colors. This is just a shimmer. This is kind of like a really pretty, very light, nudie, nudie coral color. And then this one's a shimmery um, pink. And they are pretty pigmented. This does give you a decent amount of pigment. Um, you'll probably see these in upcoming tutorials because I really like them. I'm trying not to use them on myself because I want to save them for clients, but I really, really like these. You should totally go out and get them. Today in my store, we just marked them down to 65% off, so go get those <laughs> and stock up. I got another Stay Matte Powder. Um, this one is in 001 Creamy Natural. The one I had before um, was in Buff Beige 012. And they're pretty similar, except this one's a little more yellow, this one's a little more pink. And I felt like sometimes when I put this one on, it made my face look a little bit pink. And I know I'm kind of like a yellowy tone, so I hope this one works out. But I do really like this powder. Next, I got a Stila. This is the Shimmer Duo in Kitten. I really like this. Um, this is my first highlighting product I've ever bought. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks. So... I do really like it, and I keep forgetting to try to use it as eyeshadow, so look for this also in an upcoming tutorial, and I think I've used this in other tutorials as well. The last item, but not least at all, is the Kat Von D um, Monarch palette. This is a really, really nice palette. I really like the shadows. I went to Sephora with my boyfriend, and I was like, which one should I get, the Monarch one or um, the other one, I forget the name, but the blue cool toned one? He's like... He's like, I like the blue one, but this, this eyeshadow is pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, that one is, like, the one that I really want this palette for. And it's really, really beautiful. It's really beautiful if you just want to warm up the crease, even if you have, like, a just a black smoky eye. If you take the most tiniest bit on your brush and you just run it through the crease and blend it out like crazy, it will make your eye look so much warmer. And it is intensely pigmented. All these shadows are so pigmented, so, so creamy. Um, my favorite has got to be this one. It's super, super pigmented. Um, I just love all of them. The only thing I will say, though, is instantly when you touch your brush to it, it kind of throws up some powder. So it's not like a big deal to me because I just tap it off. But I will say um, they are similar to the consistency and like powderiness of the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, although they are better quality. I think these eyeshadows are way, way better quality, much better pigmentation. I'm just comparing the amount of kind of, not fallout, but like powderiness that comes up when you touch your brush to this, to this. But I absolutely, absolutely would recommend this because it's awesome. So that completes the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have any product you want to recommend to me, leave that down below too. I love to talk to you guys. Um, so hopefully you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.